this episode of the Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace.com slash rogue. Sign up for a free trial when you sign up for the service and you know you will. Make sure to use promo code rogue at checkout. Spell it right. R-O-G-U-E. You almost got me. Not today, Satan. If I may. You may. Your move, Murphy. Oh, whoa, these slide real nice. <laughs> that's probably why they're called speed cubes. A little Sheboygan smoke on it. Ooh, that's some stank nast. Ooh. Oh, there it is, there yeah. it is. Don't, don't look, don't oh, look. Yeah, Cause that's how okay. it works. Okay. 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 All right. He's got some moves. He never <laughs> is gonna believe what I'm doing. I don't even, it's triple blind. Triple yeah. blind, you know yeah. what? none of us know what he's it's doing. quadruple yeah. blind. Oh, oh no. see, that's right. Okay, all right, boom. Go, we'll look at it real quick. In competition, you get like 15 seconds. I don't need, I don't need that. Let's see what we got. What? What is happening? I'm gonna time it. No, 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 no. There's one thing we will not abide, and it's actual human skill. Or witchcraft. Or skills in witchcraft. Nope. Oh. Wow! 23. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it was real people, that's incredible, or PM Magazine, but I have like a powerful memory of, of, of speed cubers, Rubik's Cube uh, enthusiasts in the earliest days blowing my dang mind. Well, to facilitate the blowing of your mind, we have speed cuber Echo Rogers here to show us some wizardry. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, Y'all gonna learn how to solve this, whether you retain it or not, that's up to you. Yep. Uh, I have y'all cubes here. These have all been lubed up. Wait, did, what? Yeah, oh yeah, no, there's just, you can lube up your cubes. Get out! Why are they colored? Are there, is there one for each color? No, 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 no. Ooh, these are loose. They are. So the first thing you need to understand, it's not a bunch of stickers that move around, it's a bunch of pieces. So when you look at all these stickers, there's only 27 pieces. Like this edge right here, it's blue and red, that's one piece. This corner, that's one piece. Those stickers will never be separated. So you think about them in terms of units, that have aspects to them, not colors that need to be arranged. Yeah, so rather than like the blue piece, the red piece, and the yellow piece, it's the blue, red, yellow piece, and there's only one of those. Got uh, it. Okay. And the yeah. centers, those never move. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. So everything goes around. the centers are them. always correct. It's not that everything is all shuffled and you gotta rearrange everything. The center is where everything needs to come home. Yeah, it all goes around the centers and that's your point of reference. Okay. So let's go ahead, get these mixed up. I'm gonna mix them all up the same way so that when I teach y'all, we can kind of follow it. Okay, let's get a couple of basics out of the way so that you can keep up with what's happening. First, you have to figure out how to hold the Rubik's Cube. This is important because it'll establish an orientation for you, and that's how we're calling out a lot of these moves. So to do this, you'll hold it more or less like you would a controller. You have most of your fingers in the back. Your index fingers are also on the back, but on the top layer, so that way you can spin that top layer towards you from either direction, and your thumbs are on the front. You don't have to be super strict about this or anything. That's just a good way to start. Now it's important that you're holding the cube out in front of you. You're not looking down at it, you're looking forward at it. And by doing this, we can all agree upon what the orientation of the cube is. Yes. And with your right finger, now from this point, there are a bunch of different types of moves that you can do, and there's actually a standard notation system for labeling all of these different moves. But for the rest of this video, Echo is primarily going to call out right, which means take your right finger and pull it towards you, so that way the top layer spins clockwise if you are looking down at it from above. And left is the opposite of that. It's using your left finger to pull it like a trigger to rotate the top layer counterclockwise if you are looking at it from above. Up and down refer to rotating either the left or right side up or down, depending on the context of the situation. So for this first step, our entire objective is to form a white cross formation on the white side. To do this, we're only concerned about edge pieces that have a white sticker on them. So we have three identically shuffled cubes. Correct. The first step though is you're gonna find your white center. The one with the logo on it? The one with the logo on yep. it. Yep, It'll okay. stand out, you can feel it's a little higher because there's a second sticker on the sticker. You're gonna wanna find a white piece on the yellow side now. When you say yellow side, you mean 
basically the center square owns each side. Yes. So white and yellow are always polar opposites, similar to like a, a, a six-sided die. They yeah. always add up to be sevens. And so when you say the orange side, you're talking about the one with color the orange the right. center. So you're going to find the yellow side, and there's a white piece on it. That so is the white green piece. You said the white green piece. Yeah, white green. No, that's the corner. So the white green edge. Oh, got it. Always start with the edges. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving these four edges first, but they're going to match up with these other centers. Okay, got it. So first do the cross, then do the corners. Yes. Yeah. So white piece, you see that green center there? You can line that up. Okay, so yellow side up. Uh, okay. We have a white here that we just lined up with the green. Yep. We're going to put that on the white side now. So it's twice. So just turn that twice. Now it's on the white side. Okay, but Boom. why? So that we can get them lined up, because this is now solved right here. I see. Got so it. So putting all the white edges in now, we're going to find another one we see. Let's do this orange-white one. Okay, finding an orange white. Where are you, orange white? So right here, the, got it. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, you okay. found it. Yep, orange white. Right, right so there. So I'll put we're our cubes that going one the right home, way. Right? Yep. So we're first gonna line it up with the orange, but we can see that it's kind of like backwards, right? Oh, I didn't even think about that. So first we're gonna move it down, like that, and then we're gonna line it up with the orange. Oh my god. And now, line it up with the white. Everything wants to go home, but you got to make sure. Never send anything home unless its counterpart, its other side, is also at home. Correct. I see. So in this case, if I'm predicting one ahead, we know that, that this white needs to show up to right here, but I'm going to check that red is also going to go yeah. home. And we got so pretty I'm going to look at this. Here. Yeah. So in this case, it's just that, right? Yeah. So because we're doing the cross first. I feel like I'm seeing the code of the matrix. This is incredible. Like so? No. 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 Yeah, no. Okay. So look, you're just going to move it to oh. the white's lined up. And now we also got lucky, the blue's also right there. Okay, so in this case, uh, we, we, we want to do the cross first, then the corners. Yes. So this is blue-white here. So I think to myself, how does blue-white end up here? And I'm not worried about the corners, so I may mess up the corners, that's fine but blue-white needs to also be still on blue, so all I'm gonna do is one move, and now I've got the cross done, and every move I've made has brought one of these home. Correct. Oh my God, I get wow. it! This is awesome! I do not. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jason, I got you. So we're trying to form a white cross on the white side, right? Across the entire cube, there are only four edge pieces that have a white sticker. This step requires getting all of them to the correct position and rotated in the correct direction. Realistically, you can start with any of the edge pieces and complete them in any order. At most, it could take four or five moves per edge piece, but it can take as few as one or two if you get a fortunate scramble. Now, as you move these pieces, you want to prioritize matching the colored side to its matching face first. Then you can rotate that face until the white sticker lands on the white face. Now, both stickers should match and it's in the right place. An important note to remember is that for edge pieces, you need to move them off axis from the face you're trying to match, because center pieces don't move and edge pieces are always in line with one axis of center pieces. Oh, gotcha, okay, yeah. yes. Got it, so right. we have one plus side, and do we do the same for the other sides? No. Common I lost it I had it for like this <laughs> long, it was, now it's gone. Felt good, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. it was great. A lot of people think you do it one side at a time. Yes. You do it layer by layer. So it's like a cake, so we have one layer, two layer, three layer. So, oh, I see, yep. but, but so, so it's still the white side? Yes. Got it. Now, go ahead and put that cross down on the bottom. Whew. Okay. So now you have your yellow center on top, yeah? Yep. Okay, and we so, actually have one of the white corners right here already. It's this, uh, this green, red, white one. Right. And we want to end it up right here mm -hmm. because it's green, red, white. Yes. Okay. So we're keeping white on the bottom. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to line up above where it goes. So we're just working with the yellow side right now. Okay. Now, when you say above, like I understand that... Here's red, here's green, here's white. So I understand it needs to get here. So if white is on the bottom, my piece, white, green, red, is above where I want it to be. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So okay. this is where the first like set of actual moves to memorize are. Hold it with the red facing you. Mm -hmm. Like you're looking right at the red. And you've still got white on the bottom. Wait. Okay. Got yeah. it. This is on the right side. Here's your first set of moves. 
You're gonna take the right side up and then over with your right finger, right side down, over with your left finger. Okay, so those four moves are the secret to taking something above and transposing it down below. Yes. Okay, and As it was- As above, so below. Okay, but- <laughs> This move actually changes five pieces in total, but here I've blacked out all of the stickers except for the corner piece that we're focused on and the piece that it replaces. This way, you can really see what's going on. And now yep. we have almost all of the white side done. Yes. Okay, we have white, red, and blue, and we, oh, my guess is you're about to teach us a different move. No, no, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on the right side. Again, white's still down. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do the same thing, because this piece is wait, in the right uh, spot. Why, why don't our things look the same? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. We're gonna do the same thing, because this is in the right spot, it's just rotated wrong. And the fun thing about this move sequence is it can also rotate. We're gonna do okay. it again. So up. Up. Right finger. Right. Down. Down. Left. Left. So you can see that took that piece out. And now it's back up top. Okay. And now but we're gonna do it again. What, what did that buy us? Okay. So up. we're gonna do it again? Yep. Up. Up. Right. Right. Down. Down. Left. Left. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> this is more than I've ever been able to do before. I All right. feel like Pinhead is gonna erupt. Okay, okay. The box, you opened it, we came. Now we're starting to see what makes the right hand algorithm so useful. Let's see that sequence again, but blacked out. We strung two right hand algorithms together. First, to move the bottom right corner to the top right corner. Then we did it again. You might not have noticed previously, but the top right corner piece not only gets moved to the bottom, but it always rotates clockwise in the process. Even though six other pieces change during the sequence, this is a safe move to rotate the bottom corner piece without disturbing the rest of the bottom layer. We can see we're still working on this first layer. Yeah. And we can see these two aren't in the right spot. Otherwise it would be a full layer. Like the white's right, but these are whole pieces. I see, so we are entirely solving this first layer of a three layer cake yes. before we move down. Yes. Got it, okay. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna take this piece out like we did earlier. So up. Up. Right. With the, with the orange facing you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, right. Oh shoot, yeah. Oh God, I, got, I have to let go of the, okay. Yeah. All right, so up, right. Up, so, right, correct. Yes. Yep. Down. Down and left. left. Yes. Got it. Okay, what now. What did we accomplish? We took this piece that was in the wrong spot out. But we also destroyed our beautiful. We did. We're going to put it back. It's okay. Oh, and the way we're going to put it back is with yellow on top. We're going to go up, right, down, left. That's not right, is it? No. I'm it was a gonna, valiant effort. I'm gonna undo everything I just did. Uh, I'm impressed by you undoing that. When I was first learning, I could not undo four moves. You're welcome. Hey! <laughs> like, that's genuine. <laughs> okay. So, this piece does not go where it was. It goes over here. First gonna just put it over. Okay, okay. so. Right. Now it's above where it goes. Yeah. And we're gonna do something similar to what we've been doing, but with our left hand. So we're gonna go up, up left, then left, down, down, uh, down, right. And then right. Got it. And, and now then, it's down where it goes. Uh, are we gonna repeat that? N no, because the piece is down where it goes. Now we're just gonna line this one back up. We're gonna put this corner down in here. So we're holding it like that. Up. Right, down, left. So now we can see that entire first layer is done. Oh, we just did a layer cake. The top layer is done. We did. Up. Right. Right. Nope. Uh, right finger. Right. right finger. Boom. Ah, yeah. right. Okay. Down. Right goes left. Like, like you're pushing a trigger. Mm -hmm. Left. There you go. Now the layer cake, first layer is done. Hey! We're okay. a third of the way through the Rubik's Cube. Whew. So now we're gonna work on the middle layer. Yes. So 
This is where a little bit of like spatial awareness comes in. So for the second layer, mm -hmm. this middle part, what we first want to do is match up one of the colors. So red is already lined up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we want it to go into this red green slot. So we're going to first move it away from the green. Got it. So this red green piece we know eventually needs to be, uh, uh, transpose from on top to basically clockwise pivot over here yes. to take this spot. Yes. So why did we rotate this away from where it wants to go? So it's opposite? Yes, so it's opposite. So like when you're looking at the green, it's in your line of sight here. And that's just gonna make it easier for us to line up with these move sequences. Got it. So we're gonna do those same move sequences I taught you all earlier. Okay. We're gonna go up, mm -hmm. right, down, left. Then we're gonna rotate the whole cube like this to put the green in front of us. Okay. Got it. Okay. Then we're gonna do up. Wait, on the right or left? On the left. On the left. Le we're doing it left-handed. Yep. Up, left, left, down, down, right. Right. One feature of the left and right hand algorithms that we haven't really utilized yet is its ability to move around edge pieces. There was a lot going on all at once, so let's black out the cube and watch it again. Notice that the green red edge piece and the green red white corner piece are on the same face, so rotating the red face won't accomplish much by itself. However, if we start pushing these pieces off axis from one another, we can close that gap and get them flush. And with the right set of moves, we can keep them in the correct orientation as well. So now we have the first edge where it goes. Right, okay. And we're gonna repeat that same process. So we have this red blue edge up here now. So when it comes to the edges, second layer of the cake, you wanna identify what's the piece you want, where does it belong. So in this case, this red and blue edge belongs Belongs in this here, ring. where yes. currently it's blue orange. Correct. Got it. So first we're gonna line up the red side like we did with like we had with the green. Line it up onto the red. Yep. Okay. And then blue's on top, so we're moving it away from the blue. Oh, so okay, so we got red, mm -hmm. and now we're we're moving it one more to be opposite of blue. So yes. in order to get in order to both get in the red and the blue it has to be away from both the red and the blue. Yes, so we, we line up one side first and we put it opposite the other. Got it, okay, got it. And now we're gonna do those same moves, but we can see that we're starting on the left side this time. Okay, so it's so gonna it's be up, up left, left, down, right. And uh, then uh, rotate, again. and then rotate the whole cube to put the blue in front of you. Uh, okay, so, yep. And so at this point, that blue red is now exactly opposite where it needs to be. I broke something, Brian. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, broke I, it. I, I, I actually think I got it. So at this point, to, to bring this over here, no, I don't. So now you're gonna do the one for the right hand. Okay, so up. Yep, right. Right, down, left. Mm -hmm. And now it's where it goes. It is. And then Jason just has a problem over here. Yeah, yeah. I think mine is, uh, is uh, okay. maybe I, defective. I got it back where it goes. Oh, he's in a good spot. Kay. Okay, so next piece, blue, orange. Yep. So we're gonna line up with the orange. Okay, so we, uh, okay. And then we want it to go in the blue side. So we're gonna put it away from the blue. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, so blue orange needs to be on neither blue nor orange. So we go left, got it. Okay. And now it's going into the right side. So we're gonna do the right algorithm first, right or up. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's a good shorthand. Okay, so up, right, down, down left, left, down. Oh, this one down? Yes. Yeah. Left. Okay, and now we're gonna rotate because this is the orange blue that we're solving to where blue's in front of us. So even though we're leaving the orange yeah. messy, so now we're, okay, got it. And now we're gonna do the left-handed one. Okay. Up. Uh, uh, okay, up. Left, left down, down, right. right. Bingo. And now we only have one more piece in the middle layer to do. Okay, okay, okay. And what that did was transpose from one side of the plus to the other. Yeah, so by putting that in, we actually took this one that was right here yep. out because they can't be in the same spot. Got it. So the last piece we have, we have this green-orange one. Yes. So because orange is on top, we're going to go with this one first. So we're going to line it up with the green. So we're not going to solve the... Uh, we are. Okay, so we... So line it up with the green first. Yep. Got boom. it. And now orange is on top, so we're putting it away from the orange. Got it. Okay, so so we need. Uh, okay, yeah, so, so now you, you line one up and then you put the uh, one that's on top away. Got it. Does it matter if I go one or two? Yes, you always just want to go one because okay. you need it. You need it kind of. Is it perpendicular? Polar opposite. Polar yeah. opposite. There you go. The other pole. And it's going into the right. 
So with green facing us up. So whatever direction you want it to go, you do the right-handed algorithm. No, whatever direction you want it to go, you do that algorithm first. So if it was going yes. from here so, to here. So in this case, it'll be, it'll be uh, up, right, down, left. Yes, and then rotate and the then cube. rotate to the other color yes. that we want it. So we want it to end up at orange, yes. right? So I'm going to do up, left, down, right. You did the thing again. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Where Jason's mistake is coming in is in the ups and downs. He keeps switching to the other one. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. So we did the first layer, which is a flat layer, because it's yes. whole. Then we have this one that's just in the middle. Yes. Flat layer is next. So we're going to do the cross again. Wait, but I did, I, I moved it to the. Yeah, but we want the whole yellow cross. So let me okay. get back where we are. Yep. We have this kind of L shape here. There are four ways that the top can be. We can have the L shape. We can have a straight line. We can have none of them yellow, or we can have all of them yellow. We have the L shape. So we're going to put it in the kind of like the back left. Got it. Are, are we learning a new move? We're learning a new move. So we've we're got the right-handed algorithm, the left-handed algorithm. And now we're and doing the top. Now we're doing the top algorithm. Got it. OK. So, so essentially, we're moving this, this front face that we're looking at here, because this is in the back left. Yep. We're moving this front face, and now we're going to do the right-handed algorithm again. So okay. up. So up, right, right down, down, left, and got then we're going to move the front back. The yellow back on top. OK. Got it. So we're facing bottom, red. Top. Facing red now. Facing red. Yep. Yep. So we're going to move the, this will be the front. So move the front down like that. Uh, okay. Yep. And now we're going to do follow along. This is the right handed move again. It's up, right, down, left, and then the front back again. Oh. Okay. So now we have a straight line. That's one of the other four that it can be, right? Because we had the straight line, the L, none, and all. So the L was the worst possible configuration. Yes. So we had to get to at least one straight line. Yes. So now we have the straight line, and we always want the straight line to be parallel with us, which it is. OK. Now we're going to do it again up front like that. Uh, red still facing you. OK. Red, red facing red towards front. us. Yep. Got it. And we're doing the right hand move Right hand again? move again, yep. So up, it's up, right, right down, down, left, and then front. Uh, and then, oh, and then rotate again. Yep. And now Even we though have, we're messing, oh, no, nope, yeah. we're still it, layers one, layers two. Yeah, Got it, it doesn't mess anything up, but now we have the whole cross is yellow. Got it. So we're going to learn a new move now. Another new move? No, another new move. We only have, after this, we only have two more new moves. Oh, that's all. Yep. That's all. What is our intention? How do we get there? Our intention now is to, just like we had all of these crosses lined up with the centers, we right. want all of these ones lined up with the centers. So we have two of them. Right. These two don't match them. Uh, okay, so uh, here's one good cross. This one is not a good cross. This Correct. one's not a good cross. This one is a good cross. Correct. Got so it. just like when we were doing the getting it all like that, we put it in the top left. We're putting the ones that are good. We're putting those in the top right. So these are the two that are lined up. Okay. Yep. And now we're going to put the yellow back on top. Boom. Looking at blue. Looking yep. at blue. Right? Right? Or sorry. Up. Same, yeah, up. up. That's not right. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a right-handed <laughs> algorithm. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. Down. Down. Right. Right. Up. Then right up. twice. And then put it down and then do right one more time. And that lines up all of these uh, these edges. That's your that's your third there's new like, move. There's like a nasty trick that like a piano teacher will do where it's like hit C. E, G, and they go at the end. <laughs> I mean, it worked. It worked. It I don't understand why it worked, but yes. So the best part is if you memorize the move sequences, you don't have to know why they work. Right. Okay, so we can see that none of our corners are where they need to be. Yep, but the layers look great. The layers. Why does mine have purple? I'm just kidding. Oh, I was bored. I was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so none of the corners are where they need to be. That's great. That means we don't need to be in any, like, specific w place to do this. So let's just put red in front of them. Like, okay. we're looking at red. Okay. Looking yellow at red. is still on top. Red's front, yellow on top. Yep. yep. Okay. So before we start learning the mo new move, what does it do? It's going to swap three of the corners. Rotate them or literally mirror image them? So it's going to move this one here, this one here, and this one here. Okay, so. Up. Up, uh, yep. Left. Then with this side we go up, 
right. Right. Then down with the first one. It's, sorry, down with, with down the right. right side. Right, down right. Down right side. Then left again. And then down left side. Down left side. I was watching you, and I was doing exactly what you did. And yet. And yet what? No. You, oh, you're, wait. you're good. Yeah, you did exactly right. Yeah. That's what happens when you do it. And yet, I did it exactly right. <laughs> Suspicious. Explain that. Where's your yeah. differential equations now? Explain how I did it right, because no one was expecting that. Not me. So first, we're going to line our edges back up. Yep. And we're going to look at our corners again. We have one in the right place now. These three aren't. Luckily, these three are exactly what that does. Uh, the transposition thing yeah. that we just learned. Yeah. I've already forgotten. Remind Yellow me. Yellow back on top, green facing us. Uh, yep. Yellow on top, green facing us. Got it. Right up. Right up. Left. Yep. Left. Left up. Yep. Right. Right down. Left. Uh, left down. Hold on. Left. Okay. Yep. And then left down. And then left down. Yep. And then right. Okay. Now all of the corners are where they need to be. And now we they just, just have need to do... rotate them. Wait, this is the last move. This is the last step. Okay, the last one is a transposition of corner for corner. No, because they're in the right spot. They just need to rotate it. Y'all are going to hate me. Oh, too late. This is the hard part. <laughs> this is the hard part. This is the hard part. If you mess this part up, it can mess up the entire rest of what we've done. Okay. <laughs> well, guess what? Let's keep going. Never mind. <laughs> so we're going to put the yellow back on bottom, like okay. we were at the beginning. All right. And we're just going to be rotating these corners. So we're going to do the right move, the right, because okay. it's on our right so hand side. Everything else we've learned has been a get it over there, bring it back over here. This is the first time we're learning just a stay in place, do this. Yes. OK. And to do that. Say it again. Say it again. Yes, Brian. Yes. Thank you. You're correct. OK. okay. I, it feels good. It feels good hearing yeah, it. Say it to him. Jason, you're doing great. <laughs> right. A little patronizing. Thanks, fine. Dad. Fine. No, I'll take oh, it. Shut up. I'll take it. I mean, I never heard it from him. Because <laughs> I never could fix the cube. For All my right. father's approval, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so to do this, we're actually going to use the same algorithm we did to put the corners in. Because it's on our right side, so we're going to do the right algorithm. So up, right, down, left. Uh, wait. I've lost my, okay, left, yep. Yep, and now we're gonna do it again. Up, right, right. down, down, left. left. Okay. And then so it's back where it goes, but it's still not right. So we're gonna do it again. Up, right, down, left, still not there. Mm -hmm. Up, up, right, down, left. So now it's where it goes, but everything else is messed up, right? Yeah, it's scary, I don't so, like it. So like a conveyor belt, the next corner that we need to do, this one that's in the back, we're gonna put right where that one was. Oh, of course. <laughs> Boom. Now we do the same thing. Up, up, right, right, down, down left, left, up, right, down, left, up. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Look, look. Yeah, yeah. We're and on the same now, page. And now just, Ooh, just solve it. And then I solved it. And now just solve it. I can't get it. What's? I can't. We did the. I didn't, no, I didn't no, get you're, it yet. You're so close. I didn't. So close. So close. Is it going to bring him home alive? It. Oh! There it is. Oh, the colors on the same. I get it now. You, okay. should, you didn't make that clear to begin with. Oh, I'm sorry. Every side has to be the same color. I didn't, I misunderstood the assignment. Echo, in a million years, I never thought I would understand even the basics of this. Where can we follow more of your exceptional exploits? So you can find me at Reddit. It's user card dragon. So slash you slash yeah, card slash dragon. Slash card dragon, yeah. C and D are capital. Oh, by the way. Ha, you didn't do it, I win. Uh, you did, oh, I beat you, you did. No, Sorry. that was legit. That was Sorry. Yeah, what, no, what's the fine. cube shop code? A speed cube shop. Code CubeCat, all caps, all one word. C U B E C A T. Well, now I just want to do this all day. <laughs> I, I, Those are your cubes. Can, you what? Can practice. Well, I mean, I'm, I could mess them up once and never fix them, just like yeah. I, I already messed it up. I already don't know how to undo. I'm too <laughs> curious at the weird gooey center in there. It's, what is that about? It's fine. It's like a stretch Armstrong it's fine. thing. Springs. 
Really? Yeah, springs. When I say Squarespace, you say nothing. Squarespace. Nothing. Squarespace. Nothing. When you don't literally say nothing, Court, it's fine. Look, squarespace.com is the fast, easy way for you to make an award-winning design for your blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. If you have an incredible message to get out to the world, Squarespace is the key of ske ske skeleton key, the website for undead. It's the website for living people. Look, no matter if you're a technical genius or not, you don't have to know nothing about HTMs or Ls. You can get your message out to the world and Squarespace can make it happen. They're constantly making upgrades with features like content blocks so that pages load faster or members only sections where you can be secret and whisper, hey, you hear about Round Dump, <laughs> the competitor to Squarespace? Oh, uh, hold on, I gotta register Round Dump. Oh, also they'll register domains for you, that's cool. But the most important part is because of their distributed virtual servers, you can be an overnight sensation, heard around the world, and look good while doing it. Don't take my word for it. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Give it a free try, and when you fall in love, because you know you will, use promo code rogue at checkout. You'll save 10%. We'll still be in business, and we can take on together the forces of Round Dump. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. Do you know uh, one she out of every thousand Rubik's Cubes produced is uh, a four-dimensional analog of an actual Rubik's Cube? They got sued in uh, 1986 because someone tried to solve a, a Tesseract Rubik's. They didn't know that they had gotten the faulty one. Went insane. I literally don't know if you're messing with me. He was, he, he, once he solved the Tesseract, he was able to see through space and time. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, that man, Frank Stallone. Frank Stallone. You've heard that story. <laughs> yeah.